Hi guys, today I'll be making copper acetate, which is pretty easy to make. Anyone could probably do it. Alright, so just measure about, well for me, I'm just putting about 10 grams of copper. I got my source of copper and copper wires. As you can see, that's why they're lines. Probably not 10 grams. Well, yeah, 10 grams are right. So this is from copper wires. That's 10 grams. So the next part is get equal portions of vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. The vinegar will um, react with the hydrogen. I mean, with the the vinegar reacts with the copper. So just put. Well, I'm putting about whoa, about 15 milliliters of vinegar, and I'll be adding also 15 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. All right. So just give it a good mix. the heck? It's kind of weird. Turn on white. I think because my desk is all dirty. Whoa. It's all dirty. Whatever. So, this is copper with hydrogen peroxide and vinegar. After about a day, this is my copper acetate sample with hydrogen peroxide 3%, vinegar 5%, so the next step is evaporating it or first you could also do a filtering with a funnel so let me set up the paper alright so just do this you just simply put it right there so you can see it's filtering a cool blue color and this only took about a day so this is about the filter is about done what well they're gonna be take a long time to evaporate it down so I'll just show you a sample that I already made. This is my sample. Copper acetate. And you can see the cool blue crystals. And you could actually do a flame test with the copper acetate. So I'll be doing a small flame test. And the fire will have to turn green, alright? As you can see, it turns green. That's burning copper acetate. It doesn't look that much green in the camera. When you cut yourself, it's green. Guys, so, if you agree, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.